Hello all, and happy fifth anniversary to God Wick. We have a lot to cover, so let's just get straight into it. A special fifth anniversary KVK event, one of the longest standing events in the game. Now this was a little special KVK event, not for the alpaca spawns, when killed giving some solid resources when you've killed a large amount of them. And special Lord of Light's revival protection effect, which will return the dead troops after the battle. But the fact that the battle tokens are still freely obtainable despite the Lord of Light's revival protection effect. We hope you all had a good KVK, whether to test your strength or just to farm up those battle and bravery tokens for your badges. Here is a little sneak peek into some of our KVK experience we have been preparing. There are also some special diamond mines with a quirky cosmetic change and having double the usual amount of diamonds. But now on to the anniversary event, Heir of the Dragon, a 28-day login event with a festival shop and four mysterious events we have no details over but can speculate. Before that, let's get into the shop, giving free commander medals and some outstanding quality commander chests five for the premium commanders and 10 for the outstanding with it refreshing every seven days. And a more unique item, our first source for Tyrion's weapon, although a max of 40 shards will be available, so we will have to see. How to get these tokens? There is at least 700 of these from the login event and the main sources, a limit of 100 tokens per day. Gathering resource sites. Send one troop armies, make it into your troop configuration to speed this up a lot, or alternatively, we can hit level one rebel leader groups, but make sure you don't deal much damage so you can repeat. Some alliances may not like seeing those level one chests. These two are the best methods. You'll generally get around four tokens per sortie. You've also got a choice of rebel groups and rebel camps, which you're passively do daily. There are other great items in this store, being epic tokens, a large amount of diamonds, some easy SS troop medals, and a unique item, the 5th Anniversary Celebration Pack, with it having a large variety of items. And the last main item which will interest players, the Red Wedding Album Chests, which are fairly affordable, used in Album 3 for some small total reduction stats, and mainly for the collection for Spearman Troop stat reductions. But most will probably just go for the extra outstanding Commander Chests if you have yet to develop these Commanders. And keep in mind on the 28th login day we will be getting five of these chests too, meaning up to 85 of these chests are possible to obtain as of current assuming all items refresh, which together with Weirwood memories, free-to-play players may actually have or come much closer to getting Hector to gold quality, a very strong Spearman commander for them, a much more significant boost to their attacking power. So we would suggest grinding this out. Now talking about the mysterious events, one of these will be the Dragon Legion Skill Archery Banner. Basically, these are the main Dragon Skills you will be out on the look for. Usually, items in these events will change when newer content comes into the game. It is highly likely we will see T5 Commander Chests here, as they have been coming more and more accessible as of late in the game. The event rewards could change, but more than likely be the Dragon Skills. Another event, which may be exciting for some will be either a new Commander release, or maybe we will get the legendary Fies Commander Awakening, just like they did with Danny. Jokes aside with Alliance Conquest coming soon, and more importantly Ultimate Conquest, one of the most competitive events we have, we may see a new Commander release to combat Serarer and the Weakness lineup's overly dominant presence in the current top meta. Other events we have seen before are the unique Kingdom speed-up events for Commander weapons, we may see this for Tyrion instead of previously it being for Rob's weapon. This event came at a time where Rob weapon was less accessible than it is now, and seeing how there is only 40 tokens for Tyrion's weapon, either through the Dragon event, or maybe this Kingdom speed-up event we may see his weapon shards available to us. If you're interested in our opinion of Tyrion's awakening ability, 
it would actually probably be one of the strongest abilities for lower spenders of free-to-play play players. Chances are the opponents they will face will be of similar or semi-greater level. So the addition of a reroute effect, which is about a 10% boost to damage, with the reroute effect being 20% of damage at 50% chance to trigger. Imagine it like the Commander Melisandre, but rewritten to be a reroute effect. The main thing his weapon changes is making so the ability comes into effect at 15 seconds into the battle instead of 20, and at max level he has a 100% chance to reroute 20% of troops based on your line's damage dealt, but more importantly for the top level accounts, has a passive 5% boost to counter damage and a 10 at max level. It isn't clear if it is all counter damage or just the primary troop counter, so Spearman v Cavalry or Spearman v All Troops. Either will still be very sought after by top level accounts. And if new exciting content comes, we will be here to share it.